He's okay. He's okay. Another one in the books. See ya. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> Devin and I are out here pulling the hot tamale man, the Red Ranger. We are ready to go hit the water. We're gonna travel to a lake about two hours away. And so first things first, we're stopping at Chipotle, man. We gotta get a little burrito bowl to go. And I wanna thank you guys so much for 25,000 subscribers. Huge milestone. And we cannot wait to hit 50K, 100K, all the big ones in front of us. But just a quick thank you to you guys so much as we're about to take out the beauty, the hot tamale, once more for a good day of fishing before we get on the road. Let's get a bite to eat, huh? We're about to eat like kings and queens, man. We got large chip and two burrito bowls to go. I'm trying the new queso blanco. We're gonna see what the stuff's all about. And a couple, what we get? The Izzy's. Yeah, what flavor? I got clementine and grapefruit. I'm trying to figure out which one I want and which one you're gonna get. I got no choice in the matter, y'all. It's all right, we're going for some big fish tonight. I'll be okay with whatever flavor. Why you presenting games? I don't want to play. Well, that's a welcome. I just want to lay down with you. Spock a doobie, hit the town with you. Life is complicated, but I found in you. Something simple, I can wrap my head around it. Be my lady, cause you keep it. First cast, getting after it. She's going Texas rig, I don't got the chatterbait tied on, black and blue, she's doing natural, mixing things up, hitting this nice little point to get things started. I'm gonna lift this up halfway and see about raising it. Yep, just gotta have it at the right spot, I guess. Halfway. But this is what's gonna be a problem. You mind helping me with this? It's gotta be lined up perfect to start tightening it again. Here. Got it? No. Oh, wow. Hopefully it's low enough. All right, now our trolling motor's raised up. Now it should work effortlessly. Probably should have went a little further out when I did that. I think a Mondo worm is probably a good bet. You know, summertime, natural. I think there's one in here. Yeah guys, so you had seen us run into issues with the spot lock in the past and we were pretty sure it was because of the shaft of this whole deal. The whole beam, that vertical beam, was getting too low and kind of putting pressure on these wires. Guys, just to expand on this very quickly because it could have actually cost us a $3,500 trolling motor if these wires got crimped to the point that the whole thing needed to be replaced. Garmin does not warranty this stuff. They talk to the dealers about not specifically using like zip ties to tie the cords down to like the shaft if you're using their Garmin transducers for live scope for instance because of the fact these wires are so sensitive you could actually break them and they do not cover that even for the dealers that install them. So what they've done on the shaft of our trolling motor is they've actually used electrical tape. So you'll see around the shaft of our trolling motor down to our transducer electrical tape. So what was happening was the shaft of our trolling motor was installed at a set height, right? and it slowly started lowering, and our spot lock started after a couple weeks after it got lowered, would all of a sudden turn off and the thing would just dart to the left at full speed. Dangerous scenarios, man. Literally happened to us at Fork when we were underneath a bridge and there's cement columns going down 40 feet and we almost ran into one. It's not a problem you wanna have and a lot of people are picking up these Garmin trolling motors, so I want you guys to just be aware of this. We're gonna get right back to fishing, but yes, those wires were getting pinched too much and you wanna raise up that shaft and you gotta like bang that thing up, bang that thing up, bang that thing up. <laughs> to get it to budge. And I'm not showing you guys the table because it's laundry day and everything's dirty. Let's get back to fishing. Oh, I have a fish. It didn't feel like a fish, that's for sure. No head shakes at first. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in grass, that's, that's some weight. My goodness, we're going back and forth about, should we tie in a jerk bait? We're seeing all these little fish just get smashed out here. And, uh, and we haven't tied on a jerk bait yet. Okay, that's not how you do it. First fish of the day, guys, how are y'all doing? All right, they're playing hardball, ladies and gents. First fish of the night, look at that solid chunk of rooski. 
That is why we drove two hours, y'all. Let's see if we can't uh, double, triple, quadruple, or even five times the size of this thing. With the next one. I know you wanna run. Mm -hmm. You guys, so we just uh, made the move over to this side, actually. We heard all these fish bursting on this side, and then we said, okay, we see this guy that's been here for so long, a little further down. Let's just go ahead and check out the reed line a little bit further up, because we were in the shade, of course. Well, turns out that was the right move. The fish are everywhere busting, and we are gonna try and get to catch, and I think Devin might tie on a jerk bait, or maybe just another crank. We're gonna see if we can't start spanking them. Look, they're everywhere. And the box with the baby bull sheds, I think. I would get one of the small ones, because I assume any bass will eat one of the small ones. Oh, oh, two casts in a row? No two casts in a row? Okay. All right. Second cast in a row. All right, so crankbait's okay. I'm sure jerkbait is just the same. Devin better get to tying them on. Size isn't our specialty on this channel, but you know, we can provide entertainment if you're looking to see how long it takes to get triple hooks out of a bass's mouth. Yeah, that little guy's probably perfect. We'll see you again soon. Look at that lily release. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing we stocked up on the Guggen Squad pliers, man. We got some on the front and the back of the deck. Check us out, man. We are 30% off. You guys can go ahead and save 30% on your baits, tackle, and supplies like us at Carl's Bait and Tackle. Link is in the description. You probably knew that already, but I'm just gonna point it out. Let's go three for three. Oh my gosh, see this? This is madness. Absolute madness. Okay, we, we missed three for three, but we're gonna get number three here in just a second. Not the lily pad though, not the lily pad. Those stems are ridiculous with these treble hooks. This is gonna be sick. Oh my God, there's a feeding frenzy. Oh, it's a big old bass. <gasps> he did hit the breach the surface. He did just breach the surface. That was so cool. Look, right here, you guys. There's a bass just chasing fish. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna bite it. No, like hard pops. No, no real hit. No, you need to, you need to go the other way. Yep, you gotta go that way. See, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, pop hard against the slack. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, now, now stop. Give it more time to rest. You go check me out. Like this. Really give it that slack. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Like this. Really give it that slack. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm on, I'm on. on. That was cool, that was cool. That's how you do it. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at that little baby. On the jerk bait in two seconds. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. That was like second cast. Weston's reteaching me how to fish a jerk bait. And like, as soon as the thing like hits the water, this little dude, dink, of course, obviously for the channel, you know, uh, <laughs> comes up and totally slams it. And I'm like, oh, it's a fish. Oh my God. So I don't know. All right, here, bye. See ya. Whoa. Was that on you? No, that was, go over there. Okay, what is going on over here? Okay, you probably wanna come up here and cast this way, along those lily pads. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Come here, come here. There we go, come here, bum. You little dink. <laughs> Ow. All right, guys, second one on the MTV, a little shad looking jerk bait. Little dink again, let's get him back. Save your clip. I'm casting over here with you. I'll stay a little further out. Oh, oh okay. Oh, this one might actually be like two pounds. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Dang, I thought I had a I thought I had a hog the way he hit that. <laughs> oh, okay, it is the biggest one of the night though. Oh wow. Oh wow. He's actually got a little bit of length, right? That's not that bad. <laughs> Cranking spanking. <laughs> got him. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was, I sure do. I sure do, doubled up. No doubled way. up. No we'd be doubled up. <laughs> Check it out. First double up of the night. That's what Maybe we're talking first about. Double Crank up and jerk bait. Me and the, you on the boat? I don't know if we have gotten a double up on the boat. This is my best one of the night so far. I mean, it's like really that's the best one of the night for you? Oh, that's I mean, pretty sad. This is only my third fish. That's pretty sad. <laughs> we gotta keep cranking. Oh, look out there. Oh, God, God. Okay, what are we working with here? We got, he's okay. He's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's a real. Yeah. Another one in the books. See ya.
Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got something. Maybe. Uh, is he on? He's on. <laughs> I got a little something. They're feeding out here. <laughs> when you wonder if you have the fish, they yeah, probably know it's not that big. Oh, self-release. I almost got trouble in the back, head, knees, and shoulders. Shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Well, at least we know where to cast. They show you where to cast tonight, guys. That's good because we really don't know what we're doing when it comes to fishing. So uh, go ahead and subscribe now. Gosh dang it. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. <laughs> as soon as the crate made it the water. <laughs> All right, so I just actually upped the size of my jerk bait. This is going to be the Guggen Squad oh, as Scout. Soon as it hit the water. Holy moly. That's funny. So it's basically a topwater crankbait bite. But anyway, I switched over to this a little bit of a bigger jerkbait is because the other one was just a little too small and this rod and reel setup is just a little too stiff. And this line on it is a little too heavy and I was just getting kind of backlash after backlash just because it was such a small crankbait jerkbait. We had the tension cranked up. We had the brakes on max. It would just still wasn't doing it for me. I was getting irritated and whenever you get backlash after backlash, you just kind of like want to just get really mad. Uh, now I'm working with three treble hooks, so watch out fish, I'm coming for you. Jeez, breaking them up. Golly. I wasn't recording, look at that. I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that same cast that you guys <laughs> Devin wasn't recording for that, we'll use my footage. She just got that like second cast on the scout. Um, let's see how these three treble hooks don't work. I'm actually really freaking nervous right now. Awesome. Almost kind of like a ghost yellow color. Doing work, like second cast. Let's get them. Time check for you guys. You can see the uh, sun above the tree line still. It's 8.05. Sunset is at uh, 8.37 it says. So we probably have literally like an hour left to fish. I'm feeling good about getting these videos up like closer to 6.30 p.m. now because I've already got today's video up. What I had been doing is almost like uh, filming a vlog like this and then trying to get it up by midnight and that's not really the way to go so <laughs> i'm gonna try and get you guys these vlogs at a reasonable time from here on out i might have already said that in this or the last video but i'm gonna shoot for 6 30 every day i don't know if it's gonna happen but uh so for instance tonight i won't have to worry about getting this one up this evening i can edit it and actually try and just schedule it for tomorrow at 6 30. you can do that on youtube you can schedule when your video goes live so i'll schedule it for 6 30 and then i don't even have to worry about it i can literally be out here fishing or out somewhere fishing and the video will go live at that time now Devin's on and uh, that's exactly what we did today I scheduled the video and it went live as we were out here so oh All she's oh you got some serious grass right there that's a grass fish if I ever seen it what do I have I got grass too check me out there's a lot of bass around here I wonder if they'll hit the mondo worm now that we've kind of keyed in on a location where we know there's some numbers maybe I get a big on something a little different I would throw that plopper for a minute switch things up we'll both try something different Devin may throw this whopper plopper here for a second. We'll switch it up since we haven't been getting as many bites on the moving uh, baits. That plopper would really draw them to the surface, whereas what I'm throwing is going to get the guys hanging out down on the bottom. And we'll see if we can't connect on some different baits for you guys. First one on the Mondo worm. All right. Oh, golly. Second time tonight. We wouldn't believe it, but I am the master of not getting these things in the boat. That's okay, that was a little one. No wonder he didn't get a good hold of the hook. See what happens on these Mondo worms, y'all, is uh, they have to consume a lot of this worm just to get to the hook point. And there's a little bit of wiggle room for those little guys to get away from me pretty good. Those big ones will probably gobble it up. And you have no problem setting the hook on those things and keeping them pinned. But, and I'm even using braid right now. We're in some thick stuff. I'm just going straight braid. Haven't done that on a Texas rig in a while. Um, but there's a big risk of uh, breaking off and all this junk right here. If you catch a real big one and them getting you tied up in this stuff, you really would like some heavier lines. So that's why I'm choosing straight braid. And I was just letting that worm chill down there. But I was for sure that was a bite. He was swimming with it. Let's see if we can't do that again. Yeah, they're not quite going crazy for the plopper, huh? I am curious if they would hit a frog. Just because you can get it to cause disturbance in like some of these shallower areas. I have a white frog because they've been hitting white colors. The white frog is in the front little pocket of the backpack. Yeah, that's really good. I wanted to use that. That's that Weston swim bait we just got in the MTB. That that would probably slay. You could even throw that in here. That, that might be a really good bait to throw right now. We're gonna see if the frog will work. I definitely hear the frog start to chirp now. Throw the CPAR 9 around a little bit. That's something good. There's bass. 
I'm gonna throw what's gonna get him. Go deep or something. Oh! Got one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I figured once we started to see him jump again, we just need to throw what they're gonna eat for sure. But we know they're gonna go after him. All right, little buddy. I don't know if you're uh, suitable for the live well. Speaking of, where is one that's suitable for the live well? Oh, yep. There we go. Yep, I was just about to, uh, I don't know what I was about to do, but I was just about to do something. Here we go. Oh, well. Oh, he just got some fight. I was like, don't mess with me now. <laughs> How big are you? <laughs> they are back on the crank bite, ladies and gents. That's probably fish number... Oh, How many do you think? Are we in the teens or not yet? There we go. Get you some of that. Solid little bass. Solid little chunker. We will see you later, bud. Oh, you know what? I need that Allen wrench. This thing loosens up a lot. This is cool, y'all. I'm logged onto my devices here. I'm gonna check out the 102 SV. What if I hit chart? Oh, no way. Okay, but what I wanna do is see the screen. Download charts? No. Chart settings, user data. Da, 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 da. Cancel. How do I get to perspective mode? Well, we made a move, y'all. We saw some fish jumping over here and uh, figured I wanna give y'all a change of scenery. But we haven't got too many bites and light is fading to where the GoPros won't be able to last much longer. So we're making some of the final casts of the evening, I presume. And then we're gonna go put this thing back on the trailer and get back to the house. If we don't catch anything else, we will see you back at the crib. Hey. <laughs> It's on. <laughs> Back at the house, man. Thank you guys so much for joining Devin and I on another awesome episode on the hot tamale, catching a bunch of fish for you guys and having a lot of fun filming. A little bit of a different style of editing. Again, we're trying out some new things. I hope you guys dig it. We got Zeke chilling. We got Max up here, Marshmallow. We got Milo and Otis all in the corner. Everyone is in the living space. And I probably should get this laundry done before she gets home. And then also maybe uh, cook up a little dinner for her. It would be nice. She's back at work behind the bar at Bob's Steak and Chop House. And I am still furloughed and it sounds like Texas is now kind of pausing their openings of restaurants and stuff so I might not go back to valet for a little bit longer it's all undetermined man but we're having a lot of fun filming these videos for you guys and I want to keep cranking them out as long as I can one a day I'm gonna schedule this one for a 6 30 p.m. upload it's now 4 10 in the afternoon and I'm about to get out and film tomorrow's video for you guys man wish me luck on my excursion and we're gonna try and get these things up continuously for you guys as long as we can see you tomorrow <gasps>